Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right! Hey, welcome! This is another video for you and your viewing pleasure. Uh, if you guys remember, I um, did a video on this Matchbox Moving Parts Land Rover Range Rover Evoke. Yes, and uh, this is a brand new casting for uh, Matchbox 2021, uh, which is now 2022. I, I say 21 because that's the uh, trademark got used there. But a quick look around the uh, packaging again. Uh, this is that uh, goofy packaging. They kind of do it just for the moving parts. Uh, but it's so youngsters can see what car it is when it's hanging up on the peg way down, way down there below. So anyway, so we all opened it. And uh, you can check that video out. We'll probably tag that in the uh, at the end. <clears throat> So if you want to check that out, that would be awesome. And so what I wanted to do is uh, go back and compare this one with the original one. Yes. So are we... So what we're going to take a look at today is really kind of how these two match up with each other. Are they the same casting or are they not? Now I know it's a convertible versus hardtop and a moving parts versus, but did they use the same casting? That's what we're going to take a look at today. Right now let's just take a look at the base here. Oh, I see a difference already. So the new one here, the white one with the moving parts convertible is a 2016 Land Rover Evoque and the old one, the hardtop, is a 2015 Land Rover Evoque. Now they, they're basically the same base. Just this, uh, the plating here in between the, or uh, on either side of the drive shaft there has just changed. They've just changed out the, uh, the plating there so but sale still the same thing look at that 2015 is when we got this so what uh six years since we had a new one now they they have come out with uh you know the latest and greatest uh with the red one that's the latest and greatest one last year or yeah i guess it'd be this last year so the bases look the same same length and stuff like that same kind of uh stuff now I think so this is a plastic uh, post which is the top and it comes down and it mushrooms out there but the way this looks if we can get in focus here let's focus down here a little bit cut out the background come on come on you can do it there we go you can see that that is a metal post so they because they don't have, per se, a plastic thing to, um, you know, run through there. Because that's the white body post that comes on through there. So those are two metal posts versus the plastic post and a metal post on the older version. So, yeah, check that out. That's pretty cool. So let's get uh, back to it here. I got to get this turned around here. So let's take a look at the front ends here. Yeah. Uh, you can see that the grills have been updated. The old one to the left there, the newer one to the right. It's a nice grill with the Land Rover badge in there. The new one has got the modern LED lighting, where the old one it doesn't have that uh, per se, doesn't emulate that so much. And then these uh, corner parts here, uh, you know, this is just a little little decal here where they've got a big decal in I don't know what they call that the valence vents or whatnot but they still have 
the plastic parts coming up through the roof. The uh, windshield kind of look the same. The placements of the wipers. All right, let's go to the side. They got they use the same tires. I don't know the split twelve axles or deluxe deluxe wheels. I'm not sure what it is. Um, so those are kind of cool. The uh, you can see that that rear fender on uh, the uh, orange one is obviously a uh, smaller uh, where this one's got a larger one so they can get this big huge gapping opening door to be there but uh, very kind of cool though to having an opening door but otherwise the uh, the rest of it looks pretty straightforward there pretty straightforward so let's go to the back here uh, once again black with uh, gray trim on the white one gray with the black trim on the orange one the first original one and on the back you know of course we're gonna have some variances because the orange one is a hard top and the white one is a convertible so of course the trunk lids are going to be a little bit different and you can see where the license plate goes uh, very different there uh, where the Range Rover says across the top that's kind of about the only thing that kind of matches you know that's kind of the same and then down here on the uh, bottom with the dual exhaust uh, it has a little bit more detail on the orange one on this bottom marker light than the white one but it's still pretty nicely detailed once again tail lights on the white one are more reminiscent and a uh, copy of the LED look now that the Range Rover and Land Rover is gone too, uh, but still the placement of the Evoque on the left and the Land Rover badge on the right. So very, very kind of cool there. But uh, yeah, as you see, they're virtually the same vehicle. Though the uh, the side mirrors are a little bit different because you know they're on a different. Um, thing you know I mean uh, this is on a door versus just on the whole body or whatnot so as you know they, they they so they did a black one they did a blue one in a five pack they did the red one this is the latest one that they did and they stayed kind of true to form to the original uh, look you know uh, to the 20 2015 evoke on the the uh, this is from a grab power grab that's why it's in the plastic bag. That's what they look like in the power gram. And then I have one on the cart. I haven't got one loose because I haven't, you know, got the whatever to uh, to open it up. <laughs> I just haven't got enough. But anyway, so there we go. So as you know, they made a million and one of those orange ones, and I've got like 20 of them. No, I got maybe a little bit more. So I made my own custom. Obviously, you guys know that I've been uh, trying to do a Zamax of every model that... Uh, Land Rover model ever made in 164 scale um, and, and then I made my own Evoke convertible and so let's just kind of take a little bit of look here so we're just kind of take this piece by piece so here's the gray base which is kind of the same uh, then we're gonna take a look at the ear interior and match that now this is the windshield which I took you know the top and I just cut it down you can see followed that trim line on the top there and just followed it down and trimmed it out very nicely so that's how we got that and then now here is the bare metal you know so you can see it's the practically the same length and all uh, they just did a little bit I'm sure that this part here is not uh, underneath this plastic part which the back deck is a like a different piece you can see the above the headrest there that it's a it's the headrest and the back deck are one piece and then the seats are another piece um so very kind of cool you can see you know that you know that you know they very easily they did have to um they did do the uh interior side of the doors which really look nice now this one oh my goodness check this out and i kind of got to do it this way so it focuses just on the door but you can see that the paint job on this one is ferocious um but it does have molding uh you know door panels in it so really kind of cool that way one of the things that i really want to look at is the interior do did they just did they use the same uh per se interior 
So let's just take a look and right away uh, you can say no. Uh, the original, which, which the original you couldn't see. Uh, it was kind of an Easter egg that when you took it apart, hey, it's got an inventory, cheese balls, look at that. So let's just take a look here, if we can zoom in. Yeah, it's like a totally different piece. The stick shift is different, the steering wheel is different, you know, and then the seats. This is kind of like a plain Jane, the original is a plain Jane. And look at the plush seats in there, ribbed plush seats. And then of course with the decking, of course that decking is a different uh, piece altogether. But as I line it up there, you can see that they're practically the same, you know, so they might have um, used the same like tub and just changed the interior of that tub. So really kind of cool, really kind of cool. Then it's got those inserts that come out through the hood. So really kind of cool, huh? So there you go. Wow, what a, a neat. If you got any comments about this new casting from Matchbox, please let me know below. But that's it. I'm out of time. I got to go. This is your friend Dano, and I want to remind you, slow traffic, keep writing. Have a great Rover day.